On this episode of The Balancing Act, how one organization is helping people with cancer screenings, plus a new way of education by incorporating music into the curriculum. We'll introduce you to a designer that specializes in one-of-a-kind leather jackets, all this and much more on The Balancing Act. A first, a story not to be missed. Everyone in the world has been affected by cancer in one way or another. Whether you've had family, friends, or distant acquaintances get diagnosed or have had a personal history with the disease, it's everywhere. So I was 32 years old. I went into uh, the hospital. I had my two children already, and my husband and I decided that we weren't going to have any more. So I went into the hospital and I had uh, for a tube ligation. It turns out my doctor didn't like what he felt and I wound up having a hysterectomy and did 19 biopsies and everyone was um, positive. I was definitely um, diagnosed with ovarian carcinoma and um, that, that was the easiest part of the next 12 months. It was really devastating and you don't realize, you know, the word cancer until you go through it. And cancer is just a word. Then I, I used to listen to this one nurse and she would tell me I could be a victim of this disease or I could do something about it. So I decided to do something about it. The MFL Foundation for Cancer Prevention is a nonprofit that's dedicated to making sure cancer prevention programs are readily available and accessible. Our mission is to make cancer prevention programs available to the community that we serve. Our focus is to grant access to the test or screenings necessary to those individuals who may otherwise be denied. Our hope is to enrich the life of every individual in need, one at a time. The importance of going to a doctor to get screening, you can't quantify it. It's so important, it's hugely important. It could save your life. I mean, there's nothing more important than being around to enjoy living, to enjoy your family. And it's a simple thing. Call your doctor and schedule your yearly appointments, which most of us put off. You know, there's always something else that's more important. Oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. No, screening saves lives. It's as simple as that. A lot of people don't have the funds. They're afraid that if they go for one test, they have to go for another test. That's what we're about, sending people for these screenings. And again, people that don't have insurance or have lost their jobs. Anything that falls between the cracks, we cover. Some of the tests that we're very fortunate to be able to provide people through the Madeline Fiji and the Ray Foundation include mammographies, colonoscopies. We uh, support people who do radiology centers, for example. Uh, breast ultrasounds, their occasional onoscopy, colposcopy. We recently pledged a million dollars to the opening of the Madeline Fiadini Larray Foundation Infusion Center in Jersey City as part of Medical Center and partnered right. with Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey. We actually were out to dinner with uh, the CEO of the hospital and um, a couple of his staff. He mentioned that uh, Rutgers Cancer Institute was going to have a footprint in Jersey City. So naturally my ears perked up. So I told him, I said, Joe, I want to be a part of this, not a small part. I want to be a major part of this. So we met and they told us about it. I presented it and it was unanimous that everybody voted on it. And then when I told them I wanted to pledge a million dollars, I don't think there was one person that said no and came to fruition last June. So, you know, if people are afraid to go to the doctor because they're afraid of that C word. That's a good point. Yeah, it's not good, but you know what? The survival rate is wonderful. The advances are, are, are out there today. There's, the science is great and the doctors are wonderful. So don't be afraid. That's my message. Don't be afraid. Please don't be afraid. Go for preventative screenings. It's time to get involved and get tested. For more information, visit their website, mflfoundation.com or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Good education is so crucial, and these children are learning in a new way. Let's watch and see what we can learn too. To have a well-rounded education, children need more than just math and science. Integrating music education into the school day can support student growth, 
achievement, and self-confidence. There are so many benefits of music education. Um, I myself was um, somebody who learned music. I learned it for many, many years. And the best part, I think, of my music education was going to the High School of Music and Art, which was a public high school in New York City. And the value of music was really, it was an opportunity for self-expression. It was an opportunity for really working with others together to really bring out the most in our expression, in our interest in music, in our ability to learn discipline. This program was started in 1991 by a man who went to a, one of our under-resourced schools here in New York City and saw that kids were not exposed to music education and realized what an absence that was in their overall education. Our program has really started from one school to over 53 schools now and growing. The whole purpose of education through music is to combat inequalities. How do we do it? We reach out to schools in uh, under-resourced communities where the poverty rate is very high. We reach out to the principals of schools in those communities. We establish a partnership with those principals so that music becomes a core subject in the curriculum. Music encompasses science, math, uh, what is it, social studies, language arts, it encompasses all of that. And so the app, and music gives you opportunity to experience all of that. Sometimes it's really boring for kids to go to a science class and just be lectured. But instead of being lectured, you actually get to experience all of that. You get to experience the science, you get to experience the math with reading rhythms or playing rhythms. You get to experience language arts by singing different, um, different languages. Education through music is one of the main reasons why I moved to New York City about three years ago. Um, education through music means a lot to me because I have the opportunity to come into our environment and teach a demographic of students that needed to see me as a black man teach them. The uniqueness of the curriculum is that it is a core subject. It is not something that's simply added in. It becomes part of the community of the school. We try to bring teachers from all of the subject areas together so that the skills that are learned in music can be applied. If I teach them if they like Drake, if they love Jay-Z, and then I'll be able to take a musical concept that I'm teaching them and apply to that, it'll last longer with them. So not only, so my teaching now, not only because I'm teaching curriculum, but I'm teaching them to become authentic. My curriculum is authentic to what they need and what they can connect to. A lot of kids in our schools, all they want to do, they just want an outlet to express themselves. Some of them are going through things at home, some of them are going through things in their community, and they just need an outlet to express themselves. And sometimes being in a regular classroom, they don't get that kind of outlet, so when they come to the music, I let them have an opportunity to dance it out, play it out, sing it out. Ensuring students have access to music education at school is essential to developing their academic and social skills, and it's critical for advancing equity in education. If you're interested in learning more and supporting education through music, visit their website, etmonline.org, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Time for a wardrobe upgrade? Here's some inspiration. Jacket is about finding the beauty in imperfection. Their jackets are perfectly imperfect, making each one as rare a find as the person wearing it. I was uh, schooled as an architect, being in the family tradition. And although I was always interested in constructing things and putting things together with bricks, and mortar and beams, it was not as rewarding as, uh, as I always saw the instant reaction when you were able to design clothing. When you're constructing something, the materials that you use are so important and it really is the, the soul of the product. Through all the years that I've been in the industry, uh, traveling around the, the world and being in and out of factories and laboratories and watching craftspeople, I've always been fascinated by how easy it is to use leather as a uh, medium because it's sturdy and it drapes and it's actually biblical. It was our first form of clothing. Since 2008, Jacket has been inspired by the culture and traditions of the people of the Middle East. The lamb and goat skins they treat are supple, thinner, and stronger, making them ideal for tailoring. 
Jacket is not the first to work on leather, but they believe Joseph's eye and highly technical process elevates the old school craft. We start with an idea of a proportion, of a shape. And once we recognize the shape that we're trying to accomplish, then it makes it easy to select the skin. The general aesthetic of Jacket and JKT, my two largest brands, is, is, is always has been about vintage and embracing the, the natural imperfections of the skin. Normally people look at leather jackets as outerwear pieces. And the thing that I've always uh, prided Jacket and JKT on is my execution of raw edges. Which, and the beautiful thing is because leather doesn't fray, you can cut it and it just stays that way. You can join the two pieces of skin together, stitch them, and it makes it so much lighter weight and thinner, and it helps it drape. And that's the essence, I think, of our brand. The same jacket can do all these things. You can wear the same jacket depending on your style. To go out with friends for a nice, casual sort of lunch, you can delve together a little bit more and go out for, for dinner. And then the sexy sort of night out, again, the same jacket, just changing the outfit, the hair a little bit going into the heels. But the amazing thing is the diversity and flexibility of the, of the product. I think what's fantastic about jacket is that it offers so much to so many women's fashionalities. The versatility is number one. I think that what strikes everyone the most, there's such a large offering for sophisticated women, for fun party girls in downtown New York City. So I think there's a large breadth. The second most prevalent thing is the skins and the quality of the skins. I've worked for the most luxurious brands in the industry and this leather is the most luxurious leather available at a price point that people can afford. The most fun part of what I do for Jacket is when I'm in a store doing a trunk show and somebody tries it on for the first time and the first thing almost all of them say is, I look so cool. And I think that's probably what everybody will find the second they slide their arms into a Jacket jacket. When you look at leather from Jacket, you see more than a garment. You see thousands of years of craftsmanship stitched into the seams, drum dyed onto the skin or hand waxed onto the surface. Their process ensures that every jacket is as rarefied as the person wearing it. It's about a statement piece, a jacket that is made not to cover an outfit, but to make an outfit. Check out their website, jacket.com, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Want to try something new in your community? Here's some inspiration. Whenever you sell a home and move to a new one, it's time to purge old, unused items. You can either throw them away or put them in storage for a later date. But what if you could auction off those items to a new home and make money? You should consider auctioning items because it'll go to a new home. It'll also have someone who appreciates it and will reuse it so you're not contributing to our landfills. And who doesn't need some money in their hands? So if you could sell it, why, why not sell it? Um, and that would be why you'd want to consult with somebody who's a professional who knows what it is they're looking at and what today's market might bring. I don't recommend that people put things in storage because they're going to pay a monthly fee and a lot of times they will find that the monthly fee will well exceed the amount that the items that they have in storage are worth. I like to tell people that you can auction everything from apples to zebras. I mean seriously, you have produce, you have livestock, you have everything in between. So a lot of people think of the typical where it might be household items and that's really cool too but you can auction toys games you can auction patents you can auction beer license so really anytime you have two people who come together and they want the same item we can have an auction and that's what's really exciting for auctioneers value is very important and it's so subjective so when people ask about what is something worth it depends on what it's worth to the person. For example, if someone is a collector and they have 19 items of a 20 set series and they have an opportunity to get that 20th item, the value for them goes way up. 
So the value is really very subjective. If they were just starting a collection and wanted one or two items, then it's not as important to them. Sometimes the value can be driven by family. For example, I know of a family that paid $2,000 for a steak knife, which is crazy, but it was grandma's steak knife that she used every Sunday to cut her potatoes or whatever it was. One side of the family wanted it and the other side of the family wanted it. Nobody else would pay that for it, but that family did. They had a different value set. Merchants Wares has a team of professionals that can help access all your unwanted items. From household items to collectible trading cards, no job or item is too big or too small. I started Merchants Wares in actually 2003 uh, before I did auctions. And then it kind of grew into an auction setting and an auction environment. We do estate sales as well, on-site estate sales, different sales events. And so we grew into the online auctions in 2014. Um, we started with Proxy Bid, which is an online auction platform in 2015. And now we do approximately 40, 50 auctions a year online. Uh, both on site and with pickup in our auction gallery. I've, I've shopped here for um, a very long time. At first, when I started coming here, I would it was more of a store with the occasional auction, and now it's both, but uh, the online. And I, I always loved that there was such a wide selection of things that you, you just never knew what you were going to find when you came here. My husband and I found in the shed a big hub of action heroes. So I have sold through Becky. That was one of the things that I, I sold and she got really good prices. It's always a good opportunity to call an auctioneer, let us go talk with you, see what you have. Becky is phenomenal about that. Merchants Wares does a great job of coming in and really picking through the items and say, I think we can get you the best dollar for this. Let us represent you and you'll be pleased at the end of the day. Before throwing away your unused items, connect with Merchants Wares to see if you have anything of value to auction. Visit their website, merchantswares.com, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. In need of some pampering, here's some inspiration. Blake Lively once said, the most beautiful thing you can wear is confidence. Some people gain confidence after purchasing a new outfit or new shoes, but the best confidence comes when you walk out of the salon feeling renewed and refreshed. Back in the day, it could have been more considered like a high maintenance thing, but now it's also all about hygiene about keeping yourself clean. Um, you look beautiful when you're done, you, you feel more put together. Manicures, pedicures, a new set of lashes, massages, Posh Spa and Nail provides every salon service to help you feeling refreshed and relaxed. So we're uh, celebrating our 20 year anniversary. Um, we have three stores across the Fairfield County. We started as a very small nail salon, but then now uh, we've actually grown into a large spa. We provide plenty of services like massages, facials, lashes. Uh, we do lash lifts, brow laminations, and whatever our client needs. Everybody lives in such a fast-paced world. Uh, and with COVID lately, um, it's been hard and it's a struggle for everyone just to be like everything back to normal again. Um, but for the clients to come in, get a nice massage, get a nice facial, anything to just put a bounce back into their step to make things feel a little normal again. I've been working here, uh, I think, close to 18 years. First, I started doing nails. So in the past, the, the French was very popular. Now there's so much variety of choices. So I started doing just that, permanent French, and that's what, that was what most women wanted. It was very bold, but the, back then that was popular. And then once um, the eyelash became really popular, we realized that, hey, we have to s stay um, forward on top of this. And so I jumped in, and I think about around seven years ago, I started doing it, and definitely it was a big hit. Pop. 
posh. We have everything. You name it, we have everything. We never turn the customer around. Even they'll come in and say, hey, do you have this? And we'll say, you know what? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out and we'll make it happen. We're women, we're allowed to be beautiful. And, and you know, sometimes they always say that, oh, we don't have time for ourselves. You know, I'm busy. You know, like I wish, I wish there was something more, you know, efficient and quick. Well, there's no such thing as like that. But coming to Posh means you could be yourself. You don't have to be someone's mother. You don't have to be someone's wife. You could just be yourself. I feel like we live in such a fast paced environment that, you know, I'm always rushing. I'm rushing and I'm jumping in and out of the car all the time and I'm on the go. When I walk into Posh, I literally relax and I know that it's my time for me. Ready to book your next spa day and get your confidence back? Visit their website, poshct.com, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Hey, are you planning a vacation? Well, there's no reason to stress. Our guests are here today, and they're here to help you with all your travel needs. Greg and Sandy, they are co-founders of Holt Explore Luxury Travel. Welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Thank, Thank you. My pal, it's a pleasure to be here. You. Absolutely. What got the two of you into this business? I was lucky. I grew up in the hotel business. My father opened, managed eight of the first ten Four Seasons hotels. So my siblings and I, I guess, essentially were had the benefit of living in in and around Four Seasons hotels for the first half of our lives. Come on with your bad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad lifestyle. Not a bad lifestyle. It's a little bit better than military lifestyle. The food was better than the accommodations were nicer. Absolutely. <laughs> and what about you? What, what got um, you I began in the hotel industry as well in New Orleans. I'm originally from New Orleans. Um, collectively, we have over 40 plus years of travel industry wow. business together. Well, you know, a lot of people like myself, you know, think that they can plan, plan their own vacation. And why should they really stop that and start considering talking to a travel agency? Well, now, especially post-pandemic, a lot of rules have changed with regards to travel and where you can go, when to test, when not to test. Um, that's why you would come to us. We handle all of that. We're pretty much the easy button. We operate 24-7 in a discreet manner. So everything, everything is hands-on. We touch everything from start to finish. So do you suggest places that you have relationships with or do you work out relationships? I'm looking at, you know, there's the great pyramids behind you and other places like that. That, but I mean, do you have relationships with the places that you suggest? Yes, yeah, so we have over the last 30 years met with general managers, owners, been to trade shows, meeting literally the best hotel owners and general managers from around the world. We have put partnerships in place so that when our cl clients come and visit those hotels, they're treated extra special. Yes, it's always good to have someone to expect you when you arrive. I always say it's good mm -hmm. to say, hello, Mr. Williams, it's so nice to have you here. It makes all the difference in yes. the world, are you kidding me? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, when you greet me when I walk in the door that way, rather than saying, excuse me, do you have a reservation? Oh, yes. you know what I mean? And you weed out all of the chaff, so to speak, Exactly, right? Absolutely. exactly. Well, look, when you're planning a vacation for, let's say, an individual or family, What's your goal? Your happiness, my client's happiness, that you're getting the vacation or the holiday that you expected or that you wanted. You know, we are coming out of COVID, and I gotta tell you, like the last couple of weeks, I, I've been to a couple of cities, and I will tell you the honest truth, my hotel experiences have not been the best in any of them. Why? Because, you know, I'm paying full price for a room, and yet the person at the front desk is telling me, well, we're not gonna clean your room for three days. We're not gonna change your towels for three days. Excuse me? You better step up to the plate. I mean, right. is this gonna stop sometime soon? It will stop, and, and this is why you go to us. If you come to a situation like that where you're not getting the service you expect, we'll take care of it. And this is something you take care of even before I even go on a trip, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I think it's vacation time <laughs> coming up. If people want to get more information, where would they go? HoteExplore.com, H-A-U-T-E-E-X-P-L-O-R-E.com. Well, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. Of course, you. if you want more information, you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be back right after this. Don't miss our next story. It truly is a recipe for success. When you hear the words frozen foods, what comes to mind? Pizza and snacks? TV dinners? We're here at Cuisinary Food Market in Paramus, and there's definitely more to frozen foods that meets the eye.
So at Cuisinary Food Market, we are a food store and online e-commerce specialized in specialty food imported mainly from Europe. We have a wide range of uh, ready meal made by chef and local artisan that really differentiate us from uh, the other frozen food that you can find in your local supermarket. In, in general, we are breaking the, the frozen food barrier with the quality of the product that we're selling. Uh, the pastry that you can buy at Cuisinery is going to be as good and as fresh once you bake it as what you can find in a French bakery if you travel abroad, for example. Or our ready meal will be as tasteful as if you're sitting in a nice uh, restaurant and order, let's say, a cassoulet or a bourguignon. We're all about breaking the frozen food barrier. Other places you used to frozen pizza, we have frozen flamme couche, which is a tart flambe. Rather than frozen french fries, we have potato croquettes or yucca fries. And instead of frozen cookies, we have macarons. We are one of the few stores that you can find these classic French recipes that are made in the U.S. by top chefs. Cuisinary Food Market sells healthy and nutritious frozen meals that are chef inspired. All our classic French recipes are done here in the U.S. by chefs. And what they do is they take the time to slowly cook these dishes. And that's what it was all about back then, is you put it on in the morning, you went out and worked, and then you came back and had dinner. Quality of food that we use, as well as the French recipes that we have, we trust only to the best chefs. Using classic French techniques makes it homemade because you're not adding anything to preserve it for longer. The flash freezing technique that we use is makes it taste like it just came out of Europe. And if that's not enough, their frozen recipes retain more vitamins and minerals than fresh fruits and vegetables. So the nutritional value of our food is most of the time better than when it's fresh food because our products are frozen right after being cooked or harvested when it comes to our vegetables, meaning that we can retain more vitamin and nutrient overall uh, in our meals and products. Our unique offering is available both online and in our store. We have currently three locations, in, uh, one in New Jersey, another one in Florida, and uh, one in Texas. And if you're not living in near those areas, you can easily purchase the same product online on our website. They can either select uh, in-store pickup if they want to save on shipping and can come and pick up their order directly at our store, or else, we can ship directly to their home and uh, every order is shipped and arrive within 48 hours after shipping. For more information about Cuisinary Food Market or to place your order, go to CuisinaryFoodMarket.com or go to our website, TheBalancingAct.com. Thanks so much for joining us on this local edition of The Balancing Act. We'll see you next time.